so marking for splank neck from the midline so the midline this is the midline so 4 cm marking is done on either side and you can see that needle entry is within that 4 cm so for the splank neck we have seen we have marked 4 cm from the for the splank neck we have marked 4 cm uh, we have seen that from the midline now what we do is we uh, take a shoot and we select a t12 this you can see the 12th rib this is a vertebral body spinous process radical rib okay intervertebral disc now after that what we'll take is we'll uh, this it is squared perfectly squared and true ap and of course so now you can see that vertebral body we take a little bit ipsilateral oblique we can see the rib the lateral part of the vertebral body and uh, we can see the shadow of the pleura so a needle should not be inserting the pleura we have given a local into this angle and so once the local is been given we'll start the needle entry next so we'll enter in between the rib lateral part of vertebral body and medial to the pleura you can see the nice pleural line over here you can see the needle is uh, entering there and as we enter the needle next we are going inside we'll try to hit the bone but what in this case happen is we didn't hit the bone and significantly we had gone inside so we'll take a uh, lateral shoot and you can see that in lateral view this is a vertebral body anterior side posterior side vertebral body intervertebral disc canal pedicles and ribs so a needle is enter little anteriorly here i like to tell you that uh, your needle please try and hit the bone so that you don't go too anteriorly if you don't hit the bone intermittently you can take the lateral view put the inserted needle on the opposite side with the same uh, techniques we have just enter the rib somewhere here is a transverse process here you can't see a transverse process here is transverse process this is a rib and we have just entered and we have given the die on both the sides so you can see nicely die is hugging the vertebral body very nicely also one more thing in lateral view your die should spread here we couldn't get the lateral image in lateral view your die should spread in between the Uh, middle two third and anterior one third of the uh, posterior two third and anterior one third of the vertebral body, and your die should spray your posterior two third and anterior one third, and your die should spray like this. Here it was a nice die spread, but we uh, didn't unfortunately get the uh, lateral view. But you can see in AP view the uh, good die spread, and we can give the drug or do the RF ablation for him. Watch for the pneumothorax. Take an post-operative X-ray. Watch for the hypotension. Watch for the uh, uh, loose motion, so you can uh, monitor the hemodynamics and give the IV fluids to the patients.